Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome on back to Minecraft. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on my starter house from the Legacy SMP server. Plenty of people asked for this one, so I figured it's finally time that we can go up, go ahead and build up this awesome house that we had. So if y'all are excited for this one, please be sure to click that like button down below. It means a heck of a lot to me, and let me know what other structures I built you want to see tutorials on. All right, folks, jumping here into the tutorial. This is the shape of my legacy SMP a starter house right here, giving you all a quick overview. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to get started on this one right here. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be tackling these houses in different stages here. And first and foremost, what you want to do here is bring these corners up to being four tall on all of these ones. A quick detail bit that you can add in right here to help yourself out is just add in that polished and a site right here in the middle and then go ahead and just trace this going all the way around and filling in the rest of these gaps we have the floor raised up on this one so it's going to be really really easy to kind of detail this structure out as we're going adding in these polished andesites on all of the corners and then go ahead and just fill in the cobblestone around this entire box we will be leaving this little bit open right here because we're going to have that back tower on this one so we do want to leave it open kind of as we're moving throughout the structure and then also right in here we're going to want that to be op uh, closed off on this side because it, this is just a wooden structure over on this corner so we don't want to be taking away from this main stone structure here stone probably try trumps wood as far as what would last now that we've got our lovely box here let's start to move on to detailing the front of it what we want to do is come over here and count in one and two and then we're going to just fill in some glass panes right like that bring in some spruce trap doors and fill in these spots right behind it as well that's going to be a great way that we can start to add some details for our windows and then also on top of that move over another one block add in a polished andesite block right there and then this is actually going to be our doorway in front of the doorway we want to bring this stuff out adding in a stair right in the middle on the sides of these ones, go ahead and grab some spruce fences, bring that up right like this, use a spruce slab right here in the center, and then trap doors on the sides. Bringing in on top of that, we're gonna have just a full spruce door here in the front for us. If you'd like to be able to see outside of your door, go ahead and change that one up. But then after this, go ahead and count one and two, and then come over here, and we're gonna be adding in another window for this, right like a so. And then on this one, what I did here, just to add a little bit more variety, is I brought in, actually we're gonna do it on this side so that we can place a flower pot right in there, bringing in our trap doors and having it open. So it's not just everything being flat, it looks like these are actually window, whatchamacallit, cover panels I don't I can't remember the name of it right now but that should be a good way to do it on top of that while we were talking about this stone structure go ahead and grab your andesite and your stone and your cobblestone and we're going to want to detail this structure out what I like to do is come in here along the top and add in your stone and make it look like this and then think of the andesite being a block that's trying to merge these two together so anywhere that they would be connecting go ahead and bring in an andesite right like right like this to be that kind of dividing block inside of there so bringing in your stone along the top and having it just kind of hang down and doing whatever you want with it and then right here we'd want to bring some andesite so it's not just ever stone going directly into a block of cobblestone you're going to always have that little bit of the barrier being the andesite all right moving on to the next structure now that we got the detail in here it looks something a little bit like that for now let's get this area etched out for where our wooden structure is going to be or the kitchen you're going to bring up strip spruce logs going four tall along this entire area just quickly bring those ones in here and then we'll be cutting out a few windows and a few just other spots that we can throw some more detail bits in strip spruce logs they look really really good but when you get this mass build or this mass wall like this appears a little bit flat so what we can do here is we can actually come over onto this corner one right there, adding in a strip or just a regular spruce plank, and then also onto the corners over here on this side and add in that as well. And then we can continue that whole thing going across here. All right, now that we are on this section, this area is actually gonna be sitting one block lower as far as the floor goes on the inside. So we can actually come down here and add in our windows right like that, and then come over to this one and add in another window here. This one looks a little bit better if you kind of bring these in right like this and just smooth that bit out right there. And then on top of this, to help it feel a little bit more fortified, go ahead and throw a plank block right above the windows right like that. So it feels a little bit more fortified in here. Then also on top of this, just to break up that spruce, we can bring in a little bit more of our dark oak fence action right over here and that'll help to kind of fortify this one and that'll build into our roof as well so quickly coming over to the back and adding in this last one here then on this open face that we have on the sides go ahead and come in right like this and right like that and add in just a few more windows for ourselves be a lot of detail that we can smash into the inside of this kitchen i love this one because i think it's very very open and then coming back here moving back into doing the cobblestone stuff 
for our tower go ahead and create a five by five center area and so this would be a seven by seven box on the outside but leave off the corners because that'll help it feel a little bit more rounded and not quite that flat minecraft boxy structure that we really want to avoid then this one right here as we're kind of moving our way up what we want to do is slowly bring in some of that polished andesite so what i like to do on this case actually is bringing ourselves in right about here and going like this then skipping two blocks and bringing in another band like that then we come up two blocks we throw in the polished andesite another two blocks we throw in the polished andesite and so on moving yourself all the way up into the tippy top areas for now go ahead and just stack it one two three four and five of those rows going all the way around the thing and just fill in that cobblestone for the rest of it now that we've got this big old lovely box in here we're gonna want to bring back in our andesite and our stone because let's be honest this thing is a little ugly right now what I like to do for these is actually pick like, let's say our stone's gonna come down to right there, and then we're going to go andesite heavy for another three or four blocks right there. In this case, let's go, uh, yeah, we can go all the way to five blocks right there. And then we just kind of mix these areas in. So if I fill in all of this stuff right here super fast with just some andesite, and the top section is filled in with a bunch of our stones so that it all just kind of becomes these different bands moving in here together. This is a super easy way to start to texture things and learn how to deal with texture and gradients and whatnot inside of your Minecraft world. Because all we're going to do here is we're going to start to merge them in here together. So we can have a few areas where the andesite comes all the way up, the stone can move all the way down, and we just create some variety with this one. I would say avoid things like this though, where it steps up to being four blocks in the same direction. Probably not the best in case just in this case just go ahead and move that up one right there And then maybe we bring in another one right like this and this guy can be moved over to here So we have something a little bit like that then don't forget to do that with your cobblestone down below So we're gonna bring our andesite down here a little bit further I personally tend to really really enjoy having my lighter textures be a lot more prominent because let's be honest the cobblestone here pretty busy uh, so we can slowly just start to move it a little bit of this stuff up in here. This is kind of area where I start to blur those lines of that rule that we set up earlier. It's okay to have a few of these connected, but there you go. You have a instantly textured wall just by having these different sides in here together. We've got our textures on there. It's looking pretty good. Before we get the windows and the top of that tower built on, let's talk about the roof over here. What we're going to be doing for this structure. What I like to do here is actually adding in a wooden top to this section, which is a strip log going like that. And then we're going to use some regular planks and just kind of bring this all the way to the top. Actually, you know what? No. For this time, this time around, I did the planks the original time. And let's go with these logs this time. I think that bigger, smoother texture is actually, if I were to make it again, that is exactly what I would be doing here. And so you can do this, bringing these ones all the way around. And then along these ends, for now, just go ahead and bring in some strip logs all the way across. We do need to cover up where those windows were that we were working with earlier because they kind of were a little floaty there, right? They were just kind of hanging out. And then this side, we can go ahead and just fill in right like this. Here, we want to bring in some dark oak stairs, extend this stuff all the way along here, and we're going to be having it stick out along the end. And one thing I actually forgot in here is we're going to want to get our dark oak fence gates. Those are going to be under each one of the blocks right here on the entire side. And then on top of this one, we can just bring in our fences or our stairs, sorry, going all the way up here. And then just use some slabs along the top to help around that one out. Bring them all the way right back down, hanging over this backside. We are going to be throwing a little bit of a chimney for a fireplace back here. But for now, go ahead and just fill in all of these stairs. Now to add in a few more bits of detail around here, what we want to do is actually step up on this one, just coming up one block along the base. And we're going to turn these stairs in right like this, right like that, add in a glass pane and add in a dark oak slab on top of it. That'll give us a window for our top floor. And then you can come over here and just cram one in right over on this side here as well. They don't have to be exactly in these spots. I would just say get two. So it kind of helps even it out and helps break up that roof. Then on this far side over here, what you're going to want to do is come in here in the middle. And actually, we're going to be wanting to remove both of those guys for now. We're going to want to bring in some trap doors on the sides fill in like this and then go ahead and throw some glass panes right there in the center and you can throw a little flower box in there if you would like then coming over to our wall or our second roof on this side this is where things get a little interesting is this one is going to actually be mostly made out of slabs because i want to have some variety in these and not just having the roofs come up to the exact same height so if we use some slabs over here we can actually make them come up to two different heights so just using some slabs stepping them up just bringing it all up by one block at a time or a half slab at a time uh, you'll find that these eventually get to a point where they meet in the center right like that and then in here go ahead and just fill in some strip spruce logs and just keep tracing this coming all the way back in here you'll see that a few things like this start to mix together with the other roof 
and that's totally fine. Wherever there would be a full block, like a full block would be favored, like these, I tend to add in that full block, and maybe this one right here, we can merge them in a little bit more together and doing the stair there on the corner. Then like this stair right here, that'd be hanging down, so let's just go ahead and remove that one. Here, we're gonna just slowly be working these ones back again, bringing in some more of our slabs, just tracing that same pattern that we had been working with, and that actually right there needs to be coming up. This needs to be coming up, and then that would be perfect right along there. It's very, very easy to mess these ones up, and either way it works, I like having it a little bit more broken up than not. If you like having the slab roof patterns where you kind of trace this whole side and do something like that where these blocks are there in it as well, that's totally fine to do. But I personally prefer to leave it a little bit more open and rigid, especially in these types of formats. But either way you want to do it, go right ahead. One little trick that you can do here as well if you would like to is bring in some stairs right like this and right like that. And then come over here, add in a stair and add in a stair right like this and then let's go ahead and turn this this end one out here as well and that will really help it feel a little bit bulkier and stronger up in this area and even if you want to you can merge one in right there and it helps bring it all together a little bit better than it otherwise would have and i think it's a cool little add an extra detail that you can add in there but that is most of our base structure done here as far as these things go a few things that we can do is let's go ahead and grab a brick wall and a brick flower pot right back here because maybe we're going to throw a little bit of fireplace on the inside of this one, just a cooking fire. You can extend a small brick thing up right here and drop a flower pot on top of it and that could be a cool little tiny chimney. Then coming into this side, coming into the house right back here, let's say we could bump out those ones and this is where our fireplace would be. So quickly building up a fireplace on the back, we're going to get all of these bricks that we possibly can and just do something like this. And then we can extend this out to the sides a little bit further right in here. So it feels more like it's a, I like having that red brick fireplace. Something about that is just a classic to me that I just absolutely love to have. And you can do something right like in here and then go ahead and break these out on top. And we'll just go ahead and extend that brick coming all the way up here. Maybe merge that in there together. And you can create a spot right up here, bringing in our campfire, bring in the spruce trap doors all the way around this one and then just drop another brick stair right on top and it'll work as a great little chimney right back there. Now for the fun part of building up this here tower, what we wanna do is start on the corners here and help square this off a little bit better so it feels a little bit larger on the top by bringing in these stone brick walls and then two stone bricks on top of them. That'll bring everything up here into the top center. On top of this as well, what you can do while you're over here is break that out into a window and let's go ahead and break this out into a window and just throw in some glass panes in there for now. If you want to use some like light gray stained glass panes, it can work out really well here too, but I'm leaving this exactly how I did it inside of my world or inside of the legacy SMP server. Then after this, go ahead and bring in a few more stone brick walls, bring those all the way around like this. You'll see that all four of these different sides are the exact same as we're moving throughout them. And so we're just gonna kind of work through it as we go. Then bringing in some upside down stairs, every other block inside of the middle, uh, starting one in from the side of where we kind of squared everything off, you can go ahead and do this, then bring in some stone brick slabs. And actually, you know, what? It's, it's in this case, let's bring in some polished andesite slabs, get a little bit more variety in here, in here, right? Polished andesite slabs right in there, every filling in the gaps to kind of help round off this area and complete that circle that we've been creating. Then after this point, you are uh, pretty much good to go to move on to the next layer, bring in some stone bricks right along here, along these corners. Then what you're gonna do is stone brick stair, stone brick stair right here in the center, smooth stone, and then repeat the rest of that coming all the way across to the corner. Then on top of each one of these little things that we added in there, go ahead and throw a slab on top of all of the full blocks to make it mob proof and all that good stuff. It helps with lighting and everything. And one more time, I'll show y'all how we're doing this one is just putting in those stairs, putting in the smooth stone, stone brick slab right on top of that one, and then slab and slab. And now we got the top of the tower left to do, and this is actually the final structural part of the build. And so coming in here, we can bring in some strip spruce logs on the four corners. I just filled in some spruce planks there in the corner. You'll want to figure out a way to get a doorway up into here. And that's just kind of going to be whatever you want to do with it. Stack these up to being four tall. Personally, what I did, I just broke a place in the floor and have a ladder going down to it, but that's okay. Uh, coming over here, you can go ahead and bring in a little bit of a spruce door action. Then fill in the middle of all of these things that we've been building just with some spruce planks. So this is again coming up to four tall. We will bump out a few windows inside of this one to make it work a little bit better than it is currently. But this is just a very small outlooking area up here. It was never really meant to do anything too crazy for myself. I just wanted a little quick place to be able to look out over everything around me. 
or have a good elytra takeoff point you really save some rockets in that early game if you're just that much higher off the ground than down there it's quite insane but anyways bringing in some of our dark oak slabs we can start to step this up one block at a time and this is all going to be coming in right to here and then bringing it all the way back down so creating these little v shapes going all the way around this one so in this case you can actually come here into the center and add a spruce plank on top of all of those to help it be a little bit easier to place your blocks in there and then we will be bringing in a lot more of our dark oak action here very shortly as this whole roof is going to be made out of the stuff okay to help round this off a little bit more is we're going to be bringing in a few slabs on all the different corners of this one and then we can go ahead and do some full blocks right here think of it as it's like really fanning out at the bottom because on top of these full blocks you're actually going to be coming in straight away and adding in some more stairs and that's going to help really spike this roof up a lot farther so it has this very drastic curve in the beginning and then it goes really far up into the sky and i think it's a very very cool one but you can go ahead and fill all these ones in one block there and then we're going to do the stairs right on top of that block then coming in on the corners go ahead and fill in full blocks going all the way around actually just skipping that center one right here so save yourself a block on this one adding in some more stairs right like this just have them all facing towards the same general point instead of being like one here and then one there and something like that just looks a little weird so if you have them being consistent in the same line it'll actually help it be a little bit easier then fill in full blocks again on the corners do some spruce stairs on top of those you're good to go fill in another one right there having it sticking up one block or two blocks if you want that to be even taller then adding in two fences on top of that one and your tower is done now a few quick detail bits we can add on the outside right here is coming over to the front just doing something like this adding an oak log and a campfire and then using your shovel to extinguish those campfires can be pretty good then on top of that if you would like to add some bushes around the place start bringing in some birch leaves and some oak leaves that's my personal favorite one out here i think it works really really well with breaking up the wood building at least and so i kind of had these built all the way around the dude just kind of filling in a lot of this place you can never really go too wrong with some bushes and i think it works out really really solid so just adding those in right around here just mixing in equal amounts of birch leaves to oak leaves helps bring it together and then it makes it easy if you want to do some oak trees around the area or birch trees around the area uh you can actually do that it doesn't feel like it's just the the leaves are on the ground it actually makes this feel like a bush when you're mixing the leaves in there together which i think is absolutely awesome i was going to be building up the interior for this one here with y'all and then i remembered that you know we have the interior on the legacy smb server so let's go over there just found some lovely diamonds as it was coming on here to record so that's a sweet little treat we got 20 diamonds in a payment chest right in front of us but this is my house on the legacy smp server you can see i added in a little potato field and a wheat field out here in the front because this was a survival base after all then there you go you can see the whole house in its glory coming in here to our front entry room the same doorway we have in here i did this little front entry area i like to break these areas up in a smaller room so just adding in a simple wooden dividing wall with our jungle wood jungle plank floor and then just strip spruce log and i think it worked out really well we've got our fireplace here in the center we've got a little bit of an entry seating area of sorts gaffing table in the corner coming over here just some more storage general stuff can you, you know when you're starting out in survival more storage you can have the better coming down in the kitchen area i absolutely love this one it worked out very very well we've got some furnaces in there and a free smooth quartz block woohoo look at that and then uh we've just got i use like some food storage and whatnot over in this area works out pretty well for whatever you want to be doing we can see out over our windows over here seeing other people's bases and everything like that looks pretty good and inside of the tower i originally used this as my storage room so i never really decorated this thing out too much but just added a staircase to get ourselves all the way up to the top here's that ladder that i mentioned for a quick way to get up to the very tippity top and we can see all over the place in the glory of this medieval area but that folks is gonna have to do it for today i hope y'all did enjoy thank you all so very much for watching let me know what other buildings you'd like to see some tutorials on hit that like button down below if you did enjoy subscribe if you're brand new you know what go tell somebody out in the real world that you love them there we go that's all the things i'm asking of you for today and i will catch you on the flip side <laughs>